Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Vail Customs. So today we're going to do sort of an artist spotlight series. Uh, these two artists is Carlos Silva and Leandro uh, Oliveira. Hopefully I said their names right. I discovered them both from Ed Bain Studio. Uh, if you don't know, Ed Bain is one of the famous artists. There's, a, I think they have like a brother or wife or sister or something that's also artists. And I guess they hold a school or some kind of like a, a group thing over in Brazil. And they have all these artists that do drawing each week and they post it up on eBay. And uh, over the years, whenever I get a chance, I look up like Power Girl artwork or other artwork. And I find these artists and I've always loved what they've done, but they always do characters I'm not interested in. So when I discovered Ed Bain Studio, I went to their website and I found out that they do take on commissions. You could pick the artists you like or whatever and you can talk to them and you can get stuff done. So I discovered Leandro first, which is these four over here, and then afterwards I discovered uh, Carlos. Uh, there's a couple other artists I would love to get some work done, but right now I'm kind of tapped out. I actually started these in 2020, uh, and I kind of do this like every year. Instead of like trying to do Christmas gifts or birthday presents and stuff like that, what I like to do is I like to find like an artist or somebody and do like a commission of something I want to throw on my wall. Of my own favorite characters because a lot of the characters they do is stuff that I probably would never really see done or how I want it done uh, So I kind of go over how uh, these all started. I'll break it down. Uh, we'll get a little bit closer and we'll go through each one uh, But I'm having a lot of fun with getting some nice original artwork from amazing artists out there that are not your top names Because uh, like I've said in the past even on live streams I'm tired of going to like New York Comic Con or shows Trying to get on lists of top name artists only for them to do like a quick head sketch and it's like you pay a lot of money and you really don't get a lot of good detail. When you can find artists like this on Ed Bain Studio or other people on DeviantArt who do absolutely phenomenal jobs for less money and really cater to what you're looking for. Uh, these artists actually allowed me to do some Photoshop work on their sketches just to tweak some things of how I wanted it to be done uh, and just correct a few things and they were open to it which is great because you know some artists are like oh, I'm only going to draw it my way and that's it you're done it's out the door. These guys were absolutely phenomenal. They did exactly what I wanted and they actually go above and beyond too. When you say you want like if I sent them this picture of Power Girl sitting or just some like female sitting and I say I want Power Girl like this, they still do like five or six sketches of different poses and they say are you sure you want that and maybe you want this one. Even though I had my heart set on the sitting pose, they still go above and beyond and show you a couple different sketches which is really cool. Um, but so I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the camera, we'll go through each artwork, I'll show you guys what I kind of wanted to get done. Uh, I'm really happy with the pieces, all I have to do now is get some frames and get them up on my wall. I'm going to try to hopefully... Probably sit on these for a little bit longer until I really redo my uh, TV room and I rebuild uh, the display cases. Then maybe I could get these up on the wall and stuff from there. But let me get set up and we'll go through each one and kind of explain some stuff and show you. So this way if you guys are ever looking for some artists out there that you might not know of, you can hit up Ed Bain Studio, check out their auctions. Really a lot of great people out there. Okay, so we're going to start off with Carlos Silva's artwork. A uh, really great guy to work with. Uh, he actually banged these, I think both of these were, took less than maybe oh, two weeks. Uh, he worked real fast. He must have been working on these all night long. I mean, he was absolutely great to work with. A uh, little bit of a language barrier, because uh, I asked him if he would do them on the comic book boards, but he went on with these, uh, like, uh, it's kind of like, uh, you know, artist paper, which is fine. I mean, I guess some artists feel better working on this type of paper than working on something they normally don't do, which is not a problem in the world. It's not the end of the world. He actually went as far as actually bagging these two as well, which is kind of cool. I didn't expect, but really uh, great uh, to work with. I uh, pretty much told him that when I discovered him, he did a Scarlet Witch drawing, basically like flying in the air, and I saw it on eBay, and I really love how he drew the Scarlet Witch. The face, the anatomy detail was great. So I asked him, like, hey, you know, I'd like to commission you to do a Power Girl and stuff, and I really like how you did that. Can you do something where, like, Power Girl's kind of like flying in the air type thing? So he uh, basically gave me a sketch like this in a night after I talked to him. Like, literally, it was like, okay, we talked, and he must have went to the art table and just started drawing right away, which is kind of crazy. I never really had that experience before with a commission artist. And literally, he showed it to me, like, the next day. And I was like, holy crap, man, this is amazing. So I just had a couple things to ask him to do. Uh, like I say in the past, sometimes when people draw, like, uh, Wonder Woman's uh, chest area, or uh, even any, actually, female, they always draw, like, the boob lines there. Uh, but sadly, when you have cloth or a leotard and outfit, th that part is stretched, you don't see it. So I just asked him, I said, hey, can you just kind of fix that and stuff? And I asked him to do some specific line work around the outfit. 
Because sometimes people just draw Power Girl, but they don't do all the line work. So I like to have that extra touch in there. But other than that, uh, when he drew, he showed me the sketch, I absolutely loved it. And by the time he was ready to be done, he added in all these clouds and he added this uh, sun brightness to it. And I was just like, holy crap, I didn't expect all that. Absolutely amazing piece. I really love it. Uh, so we'll get a little bit closer. I'll show you guys a little bit better details on it. Uh, really, really great details. I really like how he did this. Um, you know, the, the waistline and the outfit with a little bit of like line work, I really like those touches. Because sometimes people just draw like a really harsh line, but they don't add any wrinkles. And I kind of like how he did that. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with this piece. Uh, so over here, I wanted to see his take, and I kind of like to do this a little bit more often, is I wanted to do Rose from Street Fighter, but I wanted to see what, you know, a guy like him would do with, like, sort of a, you know, a superhero type look, than actually drawing it like Capcom. So I asked him, you know, I'm just looking for a basic pose of her standing there with, you know, the orbs in her hands and stuff, and he did a really great job. I like this a lot. I didn't expect uh, these orbs to be as detailed and everything. I like how he did all these wrinkles in her outfit and stuff, because it's a little bit more, uh, as she's turning, it's a little bit more of a dress-like to her. And he gave her more of, like, a, a regular ponytail than something like, you know, Capcom does with their uh, things. Uh, so he did some stuff and I think I just asked him when he did his sketch there was something with the scarf I think he had the scarf going around in front of her when I asked him I think it needed to be behind her I completely forget but it was just one thing I needed to ask him to change and he did it uh, And like I said this stuff took about less than two weeks uh, All said and done really happy with his detail really happy the way I work with him uh, and it just was a really lot of fun and something really different for my wall. So I'm pretty happy with Carlos. Uh, if you guys are interested, I will put his uh, the link in the description to his Instagram page. Um, I'll try to put the Ed Bain Studio site as well. Uh, I think they might have changed the site again, but I found them off of eBay. Uh, but they got a lot of great artists. Check them out. Uh, Carlos is really great. He does have stuff on eBay once a week too. Uh, there's a couple that he's done. I was going to pull the trigger, but I was like, you know what? I'm doing commissions. I'm going to get the characters I want and to purchase a character. I really am not fond of, even though it's an amazing piece of art. I really have the characters that I like. But maybe down the line, if I ever get a chance, I'll have him do something else for me. As of right now, I'm sort of tapped. Uh, there's only one other artist I'm looking to get done, but they're not part of Ed Bain Studio. But I'm always out there trying to hunt down different artists. There's so many artists out there. Uh, there's just, you know, you just got to find someone that kind of does the look you want on your character. And if they're willing to work with you to get something really good, you get pieces like this. So I'm pretty happy with it. If Carlos, you see this video, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Hopefully you get some more people your way through it. Uh, so with that being said, let's pull out Leandro's artwork and then we'll close out the video. Okay, so this is Leandro's two pieces. On the left is Sage from Extreme X-Men. On the right is uh, Iris West, Kid Flash from Kingdom Come. Now, these are the last two commissions I did from Leandro, and these are actually inked pieces. I wanted to see what his ink pieces would look like in person, and I really, really like the ink pieces. He did a phenomenal job. Because um, you know what it is? is I like pencil drawings. But I also like ink pieces, and sometimes some artists' pencils are kind of at, but when they ink it, it looks amazing. And then there's other times people who do pencils are amazing, but when they ink it, I don't like it. So it's kind of like a mix and match. So I wanted to see how Leandro's in person's inks versus pencils, and I'm kind of like torn. I like his inks, but I like his pencils. So it's kind of a mix and match. Uh, like as far as like Leandro, I wish that he went ahead and he did everything on the comic book boards, but sadly he did this on regular uh, paper. Uh, it's just kind of my personal preference, but other than that, I'm pretty still happy with it. I just got to get frames for all these pieces. So, we'll start off with uh, Sage from uh, Trim X-Men. I really love Sage as a character. I loved her design, um, and I pretty much showed him a couple pictures of her outfit. I didn't expect him to do the X in the background. I, that was kind of like his own touch he did, and absolutely amazing. I was just expecting, like, just Sage standing there, and that was it, but he did this really cool background. And pretty cool so I sent him a bunch of different artwork I said you know a lot of artists draw her outfit in different ways you're gonna kind of have to find a middle ground and I think his middle ground for the outfit worked out pretty well uh, I love how he did the hair I love the face I love the outfit everything worked out pretty good so it's a really really great piece now as far as the Kid Flash goes uh, when I sent him the drawing I said you know I really want to do like a Kid Flash stand in there like she's kind of leaning against the wall like she's kind of like in the city of Keystone City or even around the world. 
and she's just kind of standing there, maybe just like looking at some villains or something, chilling. Uh, he sent me a couple drawings of her running, and I really didn't want her running. I wanted her something just kind of standing there, like this kind of a pose, and I liked it a lot. Uh, he nailed the jacket. He nailed her expression. Uh, the outfit is just phenomenal. The anatomy's great. Uh, it just looks really great. Like she's kind of like in a back alley somewhere in Kingdom Come series. So really, really great piece. I'm happy with it too. And then I didn't expect the background too of the city. Uh, so these two pieces were actually really shocked. So really, really great stuff on that. So let's pull out the Power Girls, which are kind of the things that started me down this whole entire rabbit hole of going through Ed Bain Studio. So here is the two Power Girls. Uh, so I forget which one I started first. I think I got the one on the right first of Power Girl. And then uh, I asked him to do one of Power Girl sitting down. And this is the Leandro's uh, drawings. His like, you know, his just basic, uh, you know, pencil drawings. And it's such so soft. I love the blending and I love it a lot. So like I said, it's kind of hard to say, eh, I like the ink better or I like the pencil better. I think both of them are just phenomenal. So these are pretty cool and I'm pretty happy with them. So we'll start over on the one on the right. Uh, this is just basic Power Girl. You know, I just wanted her standing there with a really badass pose. I wanted kind of like that Bob haircut. Uh, one of the things that he did in the beginning, which I just asked and he was really receptive was, he did the thing with the boobs where he drew the lines going around there, which is kind of always a mistake. Uh, this should be taunt. It's a leotard. So you don't have like the deep cuts underneath the boob. It's just an outfit. And then... Uh, he did the rope over here accidentally above here, so I told him he just had to go down under the arm. And then I just asked him to do lines on here, just to add these lines because he was missing some. And once he did that though, the piece came together and I absolutely loved it. And I love the way he has this like really serious looks to his females. He does really great faces and eyes. Like one of the things that I learned in art school from an elective uh, professor, if you draw the eyes to the person you're drawing, it doesn't matter if the rest of the body and face is out of whack. It's always the eyes are the way you can make the character look like that character. So you could draw Sylvester Stallone, even if the lip is off, but if you draw his eyes correctly, you would see like, oh my God, that looks like him. That's kind of one of the things we learn. But other than that though, really amazing. I love the anatomy. I love the way he did the outfit. You know, these subtle, to me, these subtle wrinkles on these outfits and stuff around the waist is what really always makes me like, that's kind of cool. Sometimes people just do a harsh line and they don't add these little wrinkles and give you an idea that it's kind of tight around that belly button area. And I like that. That's really, really cool. Um, I love the way you position the belt. I love the legs on her. And I love the way the clouds and everything, like she just beat somebody up or she's ready to and it's just got some badass to her. Now this right here is kind of like my growl piece. Uh, this is just Power Girl sitting down on a building. The idea was kind of like her just chilling. Something that she's not ready to fight. She's just kind of chilling on a building. Some wind. Uh, like maybe she's in Gotham waiting for Huntress to kind of, you know, meet up with her. Or she's just standing there sitting there looking at a villain. Something a little bit different. Uh, this is kind of like that idea. Like if I ever was to get a statue sculpted or something, it would kind of be in this pose. The reason why I wanted this pose too is I saw Jessica Rabbit in this pose. Somebody drew something and I came across it when I was doing... Um, some Jessica Rabbit references and stuff, and I saw the way she was sitting, and I contacted Leandro, and I said, you know, I want to have Power Girl sitting on a building like this type of pose. So he sent me some sketches. I just asked him to tweak a few things. Nothing simple, because he already knew what to do on this one over here. And I said, as far as the building goes, you could do whatever you want. You could have her standing on, like, a gargoyle, sitting on, like, a, you know, the daily planet and stuff, but what he came up with was really, really cool. So this is kind of like a growl piece. I really love it. It's a really great design. Something like sexy, but just chilling, you know, just kind of crossing the legs, sitting at the end of the building, just kind of hanging out. Really, really cool. So I'm pretty happy with this one as well. And I'm pretty happy with all of them. So that is my uh, pretty much uh, spotlight series on leandro and uh carlos uh let me know what you guys think if you like them uh i try to do these once in a while whenever i get commissions done uh so i just got to get them framed up i got to find some spots on the walls for them uh, and i'm pretty happy with it so i'll probably contact these guys down the line again for some more commissions as of right now i'm tapped so i think this year i might try to have someone that i'm looking for on that's not part of ed bain studio to do something in christmas time but next year, if I want to do some more pieces, I'll definitely contact these guys because they're amazing. They're great to deal with, and they definitely can nail stuff and work with you on something you want. So with that being said, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it, and we'll be back with some more videos.